Will you be quiet down there? No one asked your opinion. Jackson's in a great mood today. I'm in a mood. Queen Xanthi's in a mood. We are constantly stressed and yeah, it does. It, it can sometimes take its toll on your, on your relationship. I bet your lips taste like summer. Kiss me out of this blizzard. Ignore the wound my eyes. I'm just annoyed that it's winter. a little looky at so we have got I'm gonna do potato salad because we had dinner with the Austrian last night and he made lovely potato salad and it's kind of got me on a bit of potato roll and uh, I'm gonna roast these nectarines in the oven see how that goes just kind of sounded like it would be nice and Jackson loves fruit in his salads so I'll let you know how that turns out and then we've got in here, lots of nice things. We've got a head of lettuce and I'll put some onions in there and we'll see what else, see what else looks nice. Welcome to my wobbly kitchen. I'm really happy, but I can't tell you why there are tears that ooh, 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 that ooh. Snaps in voila. In the end, what went in there was um, a boiled egg and some boiled potatoes, some lettuce, some onion, and beetroot, and some roasted nectarines, and on Jackson, some ham, on mine, just not, and some mustard and lemon dressing, and salt and pepper. That's all. I've got something for you, Captain. Oh, thank you, babes. Give me one second. Well, we just had to run in and roll up the jib because this guy started going honk, honk, uh, basically saying, get out of my blimmin' way. I didn't want to run into him. Bye. Oh, hello. Yes, there you are, in all your glory. This is nice. We've got blue again. We left the fjords yesterday because we missed the nice blue water. In the fjords, the bottom's mud, so it's all kind of black, brackish sort of water, which was lovely, but um, we wanted to do a bit of diving, so legend has it, there is a blue cave somewhere around here. So, Captain is setting up the tender. We've got up super early to avoid the day trippers. Because things like this, in the med, my friends, get pretty blimmin' hectic during the day. So, best bet is just to get there before or after everyone else. Ah, don't even have time to drink the coffee. We're going.
dive of the day. We are headed. Woo! We are headed for a little island that you can't see, but you're gonna see. All right, Captain. Well, you don't make it easy for me. <laughs> Away. It's not it's not about how good you look, it's about how hard you try. the drogue out last night to stop the boat from rocking so much? It was a really rocky night last night. We didn't actually get that much sleep. And the captain had a go at stopping the rolling with the drogue, but it didn't do a lot. I read online that if you put it on one side. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and for those of you that don't know what a drogue is, it's just the thing that you chuck out the back of your boat when there's a hectic storm. It's meant to um, create some drag and slow you down. The drogue. Yeah. Operation try and fix my camera. So, for messaging, one of my good friends, Mikey Boy, who is a pretty fantastic cinematographer. And he said, sorry, am I blocking your way? <laughs> he said, um, so I've got a bit of fungus, or don't even know what it is in there. You can't see it, but there is a big patch in there and my lens is dead. So will you be quiet down there? No one asked your opinion. I'm really glad that you couldn't hear what he said. Um, <laughs> So yeah, basically dead. So all we have to film on at the moment is a GoPro from 2011, I think it's from, and then my phone. So trying to fix this. And Mike has said, leave it in the sun for a bit. Sun we do have. I did look at some YouTube videos of how to disassemble it and apparently there's a lot that can go wrong. I know there's probably a lot of people who are gonna say, oh, it's so easy, it did look quite, straightforward but there is a lot that could go wrong and I'd rather not stuff it up so leaving this out in the sun today and we shall see <laughs> really really hoping it works if it doesn't ho hum can't afford a new camera yet but I'll try and sort that out okay bye Lindsay let that marinate while we're in town. Do you want to put the iPad away? Yes, yes. We... I've, got to do, I've got to do everything. He's just chilling out, putting his flip-flops on, and I've got to do everything. I've got to tidy everything away. So, we're... I tidied, th I cleaned the whole fridge today and, fridge. and cooked your breakfast and cleaned it. Okay, witnessing a domestic right here. Um, yeah, so we're in a town called sweaty Stefan. There's a lot of sweaty people in Eastern Europe. I think, I'd, I'm gonna Google what it means, I think it might mean saint or something, but it's just, there's like sweaty Marco, sweaty, um, sweaty Nicola, sweaty everyone. So today Stefan is sweaty and it looks really nice. I can't wait to show ya. It's pretty much our last little jaunt in Montenegro. Now this little village on the rock over there used to be a village, but now it is a luxury hotel. And wouldn't that be nice? 
and they've got their own little beach round round the other side I think and then this is Sweaty Stefan's main public beach with lovely mountains backdrop we actually drove up there all along there when we went to do our little hike inland so we've seen it from both aspects now and I can tell you Pretty marvellous from both sides. Jackson's in a great mood today. I'm in a mood. <gasps> Queen Xanthi's in a mood. Clean the fridge and all of a sudden. So I think I need to explain myself. I've been really picking on Jackson today and he has been in a bad mood, warranted, but it's been because our um, our water pump exploded and he's been he's had his head down the cupboard trying to fix it the whole day haven't you babe mm -hmm. it's squirting out water somehow the accumulator has got a hole in it hmm. i don't know why and it's squirting water like a spout mm -hmm. which means can't have a shower. Can't do the dishes. So we tried. I tried to epoxy the hole up. However, there was some. There was still pressure going into the accumulator, even though I'd turned the system off and drained it. And so a water bubble formed under the setting epoxy. Epoxy takes two hours to set or something. So now I've had to completely disassemble the accumulator to drain all the water out of it and turn all the power and pull the power cords because I don't know why I was doing it. <laughs> oh babe, you look so tired. And if there's one bit on this boat that you just need to get your whole body into, it's that one little cupboard. <gasps> And it's like you're part of a circus contortion act to get in there. And then add your girlfriend trying to cook dinner at the same time and it's a magic combo. Yeah, especially when your head's next to an oven. But, look, at least we got a pretty good sunset. Sweaty Stefan turned on the goods. I was about to say my captain's having an early night, but we've got to wait an hour for the epoxy to dry, so. God, this boat life sometimes can just be like watching epoxy dry, can't it, Jackson? <laughs> yeah. Why don't we just leave it? Yeah, we can leave it. Just um, need to brush our teeth in the sea and you're gonna have to sleep next to stinky pits tonight. Yes, now, you know, now you know the taste of it and you've only been out of water for four hours. And there we were just thinking water falls out of the sky, doesn't taste of anything. It's like liquid gold on this boat now. We also ordered the water purifier today on topic of water. We did. It was blimmin' expensive, but it's... You know when you go to the supermarket and you're hungry, or we were, and, and then you just buy ridiculous, just like all packets of cookies and stuff. We shopped for a water purifier when we were thirsty. <laughs> Same effect. <laughs> That's so true. Alright, good night, sweaty Stefan. You've been great. You having a little shower, Captain? Yeah. <laughs> That'll do. Oh, the moon. Lovely moon. What's up, YouTube? Thanks for watching this episode. You may have noticed we were bickering rather a lot in this episode, and we didn't want to hide that from you because we feel that. Um, a lot of sailing channels don't actually show how hard it is to maintain a relationship on a boat. It's a very small space. You can't run away from the other person and and emotions run really high. They're, they're so heightened in such a small space and because you can't run away, you have, to, you have to face them. So it is a really challenging environment. The boat is also our one worldly possession. So there's a lot at stake when stuff breaks on here. So we are constantly stressed. And yeah, it does, it, it can sometimes take its toll on your, on your relationship. But we've kind of made a promise that we'll always prioritize 
our relationship over everything else. So yeah, basically don't panic. What you saw there is so normal. We're not gonna break up. In fact, I thought I would take this opportunity to tell you just how much Jackson means to me. Plus the fact it's always me that's blabbing on here and I thought you'd just wanna learn a little bit more about how awesome he is and, and why I'm personally so in love with him. Just gonna shut this just in case you can hear me. So the first thing that got me hooked on Jackson in the very moment that I met him was he's as calm and cool as a cucumber and not many people can achieve that and a lot of our first dates were actually surfing dates and I remember a few times when a huge monster set would come out the back and I, I would be thinking this is it I'm gonna die and I'd be just in the hugest state of panic and he would just kind of look over really nonplussed and just that look on his face would make me feel okay because if he's calm then what am I worrying about and it really does transfer in many areas of our life and since knowing him I'm a much calmer person myself. Secondly, he does not give a toss what other people think of him. He dances to the beat. Just, just you children. He dances to the beat of his own drum and is so unapologetically him. I think a lot of people are too afraid to be who they really are because of social structures and peer pressure. So no one's ever really truly them, but I can tell you 100%, he is 100% him and has always been that way. And that is why he is has grown up to be such a colourful person and has so many awesome hobbies because he's never really let that hold him back. And look, he lives on a boat and is sailing across the world now, so that really speaks volumes to me. Now the coolest thing about him is that he can pretty much, I haven't managed to catch him out yet, but he can name any Australian bird by their song. So it's kind of fun to go camping with him because he'll just be lying in the tent and he'll go, shh, 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 black cockatoo. And most importantly, he is the best captain ever, best captain I could ever hope for. He's brought us through so much already. I know it's only been six weeks into the trip, but he really hasn't ceased to amaze me. He's had to make some really difficult decisions and he's nailed every single one of them. We have never dragged anchor. Touch wood. And I've never seen him Chinese jive, although he's told me that he has a couple of times while I'm sleeping, but I haven't seen it yet. So, yeah, he's someone that I can really rely on and trust to be my captain, and that's really important. So. And he's pretty damn good company, which is just as well because he's the only hang out with most of the time so. <laughs> yeah we love Jackson